Now we'll take a look at how simple it is to access databases and create new databases in HiArx Chess Explorer. You can see currently we've got a database open called Annotated Games and you can see all those games in the Game Explorer. If you want to open another database, it's very simple, there are two ways to do it. You can go to the File menu, click on Open. This will open a window uh, with your databases. These all come free with HiArx Chess Explorer. You just need to double click on any one of those or click once and click Open. You can also do the same thing by clicking on this icon here. You can see as I hold my mouse over it, it comes up as Open Database. Click on that once, you get exactly the same window. And here we have those uh, databases that came free with HiArx Chess Explorer. So we could open a few of those. We've got the Fisher Spassky database, for instance, Kasparov Karpov. And you'll notice instead of uh, opening uh, one at a time, they've actually opened on tabs here. And you can switch between those databases very easily by just clicking on the tabs like this. Now, creating a new database is a slightly different uh, process. We go back to the File menu, click on New. This brings up the new database window. Uh, here is, is telling you the location that you're going to that this new database is going to be created in. So it's always a good idea just to be aware of where you're creating your databases, and a very good idea to leave it in the Hiax Chess database um, folder. It's the default database, but it, um, it's up to you where you save it. But just be aware, it's easier to find that database later on if you know where you've saved it to. Uh, the file name we're about to enter here and save as type, as we mentioned in an earlier video, PGN database, which stands for Portable Game Notation, a universal standard for chess databases. So the file name can be anything you like, but obviously it's a good idea to make it relevant to the games that you're going to keep in the database. Uh, just for the purposes of this video, I'll, I'll choose something very simple like My Games. So now we're going to create a new database in this Hiax Chess Databases folder called mygames.pgn. Just click Save and you'll see another tab's open with the My Games database. Obviously we haven't put any games into it yet so the game notation is empty and the game explorer is empty. Uh, but there you have your brand new database and obviously you can then take about populating that database with a whole host of different games. The final thing to mention is if you want to open any databases that you've already closed is there's actually a nice way of doing that once you've opened it for the first time. If you go into Open Recent, File and Open Recent, there'll be a list of databases that, databases that you've opened recently and you can click any one of those and that will bring the database back up. There's a very nice touch with this by the way. If we just jump forward to another game, let's pick uh, Game 5 at random and um, now if we close down that database and however we like to open it, I'm just going to do it by the open recent, go back to Fischer Spassky you'll see that we're back in that date, that game again, the fifth game. So it opens the game that you were last looking at when you open uh, a database you've previously opened. So there you go, uh, that's ways of creating databases and accessing databases in Hiarx Chess Explorer.